little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. 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 I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all over the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, let it shine all over the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Mm, let it shine all over the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. 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 I'm gonna let it shine. 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 I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah. Hi guys, it's Miss Sarah this week. I'm here for your Sunday school lesson, and um, this week I chose a lesson based on apples. Um, which is because this time of year we usually go apple picking up in Oakland and it's really fun. They have all these orchards that you can actually pick fresh and delicious apples. Um, unfortunately right now there are some fires going on. They're really close to Oakland so I don't uh, think there's going to be any apple picking anytime soon. Um, but hopefully um, the orchards are spared and we can get back up there and pick some apples. But um, I'm going to slice these apples up here as uh, so I'm talking to you because uh, we're going to use them in our lesson today. Um, while I'm slicing it up, I'm going to ask one question of, have you ever heard the saying, one bad apple can spoil the bunch? Have you heard that saying before? Well, I have, and we're going to be talking about how um, these apple bites can show us that how bad attitudes can actually spread to everyone in the crowd or like your friends and family um, and really take over. Um, but God asks us to spread sweetness um, by spreading um, kindness and things uh, to everyone around us. So that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on today. So let me slice up this last apple here and then we're going to get started. Um, as you can see on one side of my cutting board here, I'm just going to give these a rough chop. Um, I've got some sugar and on this side I've got some stinky vinegar. Have you guys all ever smelled vinegar? Oh man, it's so stinky. Vinegar is pretty stinky. If you haven't smelled vinegar, you're not sure how stinky it is, ask your parents. Um, if you can just get a little whiff of the vinegar, uh, I'm sure they got some somewhere. There's lots of different kinds of vinegar. Um, it's very stinky. Um, it's okay to add to certain things, but nobody really wants to have vinegar straight. Um, it's very, it's pretty, pretty gnarly stuff. Um, so I've got sugar and I've got some vinegar. I'll keep this open here. So 
Um, it's not something, uh, vinegar is just not something you would want on its own. Um, so, um, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, it says, Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. So, every time you're kind or tender hearted or you're forgiving, it's like adding the sweetness, that's the sugar, um, to what you're doing. And then anytime you have a bad attitude, that's the stinky vinegar, okay? So I'm gonna kind of show you a little bit here, put my sugar open. All right, so I should have grabbed a spoon, so I'm gonna grab it here while we're on this video. All right, so um, these all look pretty yummy, right? I mean, they're pretty yummy on their own, but we're gonna talk about some different behaviors um, that maybe might um, ask you to make a choice if you're going to add sugar or you're going to add some vinegar, some vinegar. Um, so the first one, maybe your little brother needs some help with doing something, um, putting on his shoes or whatever it might be, and you actually help him out. That's going to get you a little bit of sugar, right? Ooh, that looks yummy, right? That's a little bit of sugar. Um, let's say um, you see a piece of trash on the kitchen floor and you just pick it up throw it in the trash without anybody asking you, that's gonna get you some more sugar. Oh, these apples are looking so sweet. All right, now, uh, maybe your little sister was kind of mean to you, um, and so she comes later and says, I'm so sorry I was mean. And you say, I forgive you, let's go play something together. And you give her a hug, whatever that is. It's great forgiveness, and that's gonna get you some sugar, right? Don't these apples look good right now? Um, and then let's say your mom says, hey, I need you to clean your room. And you just go in there, you get the job done, you show your mom how great it looks and she's so proud of you. There's some more sugar. And then finally, what about if your dad makes this great dinner for your family and you know you tell him how great this looks, great job, dad, I'm so excited to try this dinner. That's gonna get you some sugar, right? Now, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but there's a ton of sugar on here. And, you know, your kids, I'm sure sugar sounds mighty yummy, so this pile of sugar probably looks pretty good. Um, now, let's take that same situation. Your little brother needs some help tying his shoes. And instead of going down there and helping him pick them up, you start teasing him. Oh, you can't tie your shoes, and you are being a little mean. That's gonna put some vinegar. Oh man, it's already stinky. Woo! Um, and now your little sister, she's mean to you and later she comes to you and says, I'm so sorry I was mean to you. And you say, I don't care, I won't play with you or you ignore her and you're mean about it. That's gonna get you more vinegar. Oh, stinky, stinky. Now you're walking through the kitchen, you see that same piece of trash and you just walk right by it. You see it, you just ignore that it's there because you don't want to pick it up. Oh, some more vinegar. Oh, this kitchen's getting mighty stinky, guys. Then let's say your mom asks you to clean your room, and what do you do? I don't wanna clean my room! And you throw a tantrum, or maybe you just lay on the floor and say, I'm not cleaning my room. Whatever it is, that's some more vinegar. And then what about if your dad makes that yummy dinner, and instead of telling him how excited you are to try it or how good it looks, you start saying, this looks horrible. I don't think I'm gonna like this. That's pretty nasty too. So more vinegar. Hmm. Whew. All right, so we've got two things here, right? This is all about your behaviors and your attitudes. We've got the sweet side and that stinky vinegar side, right? And like I said, in Ephesians 4, chapter 32, what did God say? He wanted us to be kind. He wanted us to be tender-hearted. He wanted us to be forgiving, just as Christ has forgiven us. Um, and so that's what this is all about, okay? Being kind, tender-hearted, and forgiving. That's all that sugar sitting over here, right? Not the stinky vinegar. Which apples would you want to eat? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would want to eat the sugar apples, right? Makes sense to me. That's the one I would want to eat sitting here. Um, so I'm gonna just move my notes up here. All right, okay. So now, here's the other thing. Remember how we were talking about that one bad apple can spoil the bunch? Let's say there's a lot of sugar going on in your house. Everybody's being really nice, but let's say for some reason you're really grumpy and you've been doing a lot of vinegar for the day. 
What happens then if you're giving all that vinegar to these people doing the sugar? Do these apples look as tasty as they once did? I don't know about you, but I wouldn't touch these apples now. In fact, I don't even really want to touch them with my fingers. They have all that yummy sugar, and now they all stink because the one bad apple. So you have the choice to control your behaviors and your attitudes, um, especially with your friends and family. That's who you're with right now all the time, especially in this weird quarantine COVID time. And you know, God says, you know, to be kind. So that's what we can do to add the sugar. We don't need that stinky vinegar, okay? We have the choice to do the sugar, okay? So throughout your day, when you're making choices, ask yourself, you know, if your attitude is gonna earn you some sugar or some vinegar. In Psalms chapter 17, verse eight, so if you have a Bible at home, this is a great time to pull that out. Look this up, maybe take a pencil um, and underline it or a highlighter. Um, and, and just highlight it so you can remember you've gone through these verses. But this verse says, keep me as the apple of your eye, okay? And we are the apple of God's eye. Um, each one of us is important to God and we're precious to him. And so he's watching over us and wants us to keep him in our core or in our heart, okay? And choose kindness, tenderheartedness, and forgiveness. So can we do that, guys? Can we add sugar maybe to our day? Or are we gonna choose to add vinegar and make everything gross and nasty? I think we can add some sugar, right? Awesome, great. So now if you have an activity bag that you ordered for this week, now's a great time to get it. If you didn't get a bag, that's okay. We have a link that you can print out our coloring page so you can at least take part in that at home. Um, and you can still do some fun things with apples at home um, this week to remind yourself of this lesson. Um, so I'm gonna grab my activity pack and we'll kind of go through that together and how you can do these activities. Okay. All right guys, so this is basically what you have in your pack. The first thing is this coloring page here. Um, this is like what I said, if you did not get an activity pack, we have a link posted with this video um, so that you can download this, have your parents print it out, and you can still color this exact page. And what's really great is this has our memory verse on it for the week. It says, be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. And it says Ephesians chapter 4, 32. And then you can color this page, and I'd encourage you to put it up in the in your room, on the wall, so it's something you see every day and you can remind yourself to choose the sugar attitude or behavior, not the vinegar, okay? So that's the first thing. Next thing in your activity pack, if you got one, is a little bracelet, and it's gonna be hard to see in this video, but if you look on the bracelet, there's little apples, okay? Um, your bracelet might be green like this one, it might be red, it might be yellow, I think there's a couple different colors, but they're all the same, they have little apples across them. And the reason we got you this is so that you can wear this apple bracelet and remind yourself in everything you do that you are the apple of God's eye and you have the choice to spread sugar or that vinegar um, with each thing in, in throughout the day, okay? So this is kind of that reminding bracelet um, so you can remember to choose the sugar choices, not the vinegar choices, okay? Now, the next one is a really cool apple craft you'll just open this up and what's really great there's instructions in here so if you for some reason need extra help it does tell you how to do it okay you can see little instructions here um and it's got all these little pieces okay and all you're gonna do is put this together and it says keep jesus at the core of everything okay so i'll show you real quick um how we're gonna do this so just uh, hold tight. See how that turned out? Isn't that really cute? You can hang it up in your room. Um, you can just set it up in your room somewhere so you can see it. Um, you can really do anything with this, but it's just a great reminder that we need to keep Jesus at the core of everything, okay? It's just like our bracelet. We need to keep them at the core. And remember, we need to choose the sugar attitude, not the vinegar attitude, okay? So that's our first activity. Okay, and our last craft here is this really cool apple that we're gonna make. Now when you're opening this up, there's a lot of little tissue paper squares. 
So just be careful that you don't get them all over the place and make a big mess, because um, it is a possibility. So, all right, so we've got a couple things. There's directions inside, so if you don't um, finish this video, uh, you can always use the directions as well, okay? Um, it does talk about using some white glue, so if you have some white glue, feel free to use that. Um, but we included a glue stick for you, so that will work just fine as well. Um, all off first. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do is first off make sure we get the right side that we're going to be gluing these to. So I like to hold this clear thing, if you can see it up to, this will be the sticky side. So it's going to go like this. Okay, so I know I want to actually put the, um, the tissue paper on the side right here. So what you can do is take out this middle piece, okay, and you can look at it that way because you want your tissue paper to be right here. So you're going to put your glue, so that matches up, put your glue on there. So all you're going to do is take your glue stick. I'm gonna put some glue on this clear guy here. And then just start adding your tissue paper. And as you go, if you need to add some more glue, feel free. You get to choose how you wanna do this, okay? There's no right or wrong way, okay? Um, take your time doing this and layer them nicely. Um, can move all the, the colors around. So I'm going to speed up this video so you don't have to sit here and watch me place every single one. Okay, so you can see, hopefully in that video, that I kind of covered this whole thing um, with the tissue paper. You can kind of give it a shake, make sure nothing's coming off. Looks pretty good to me. Um, so now we're going to take our apple here, outline at least, and take off that sticky part. And this part, if you're younger, you might want a little bit of help from your parents just helping to line it up right. Because um, now we're going to just basically put this right on top. So see how there's the clear this is going to go right on top and you want to make sure it kind of covers the edges just right. So that's why you may need a little bit of help there. But then you'll just put it all along there. Isn't that cool? So now you've got um, a little leaf you can add up here. And this one you just peel off the sticky part. Put it right on. And there's a stem. I guess I probably could have put the stem on first, but that's all right. Uh, I can just lift it up and put it underneath, just like that. So now it's like a stained glass um, apple. You can put this up in your window, um, and you're going to actually see um, how pretty this looks up in your window. So um, I'm a big fan of this one. I think it's really cute. Um, it really um, will remind you daily of what God is asking of us, which is to be kind, right? So we're going to go ahead and talk about our memory verse. So here we go. Today's memory verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Go ahead and repeat after me, guys. Be kind to each other. Be kind to each other. Tender hearted. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another, forgiving one another, just as God, just as God, God through Christ, through Christ, Christ has, forgiven you. has forgiven you. Let's do it again. Be kind to each other. Be kind to each other. Tender hearted. Tender hearted. Forgiving. Forgiving. One another. One another. Just as God, just as God, through Christ. Through Christ, through Christ has forgiven you. Has forgiven you. Now let's go ahead and do this all together one last time. Ready? Be kind, kind to, to each, each other. other. 
tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven. Great job, guys. All right, guys, I hope you liked our lesson today and our activities and our memory verse. Um, now we're going to just close it out with one final song. So get out of your seats um, and let's kind of sing and dance this one out together. All right, see you next week. Fight!